can diabetes kill you? It's an unpleasant question that we all have to deal with, but it's one that you have to be very honest about. The truth is that you don't die from diabetes directly. You die from the complications of diabetes. And trust me, there's a lot of them. The good news is that you are in full control of your risk for premature death. And all you have to do is make a few simple changes. That's why in this video, you're going to learn about how you can lower your risk for chronic diseases in the future, lower your risk for chronic diseases, and maximize your lifespan. And you'll learn about the risks for diabetes, the causes and treatment of different types of diabetes, and the Mastering Diabetes Method, which is the only method with guaranteed results that can help you reverse prediabetes and type 2 diabetes and make type 1 diabetes easily manageable so that you can minimize your risk for high blood glucose multiple times per day. Sometimes a few key decisions can be the difference between a full, healthy life with diabetes and a life completely controlled by diabetes and its complications. So you're going to want to stay tuned because there's a lot to talk about. Hey, I'm Cyrus Kambata. I've been living with type 1 diabetes since 2002, and I've been coaching people to manage and reverse diabetes for decades using simple, easy to understand secrets to diabetes health via the Mastering Diabetes program that has helped more than 10,000 people around the world. The question is this, are you ready to master diabetes? So let's get right into it. One of the questions in the head of anybody who's diagnosed with any form of diabetes is, can diabetes really kill you? And unfortunately, the answer is yes, if it's left untreated or unmanaged. Now, the consequences of high blood glucose can be fatal. However, there are millions of people around the world who are living perfectly happy lives, living with type 1 diabetes, and millions of people who have been able to reverse pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes and regain full control of their blood glucose for the rest of their life. So the answer is yes, diabetes can kill you, but you have the power to make changes to transform your life, no matter what type of diabetes you are currently living with. Now first, let's talk about how diabetes progresses. The early complications of diabetes include frequent urination, increased thirst, and dry mouth. If left untreated, a more serious complication called DKA, diabetic ketoacidosis, can occur, which can then lead to kidney failure or cardiac arrest in the worst cases. For this reason, healthcare providers recommend that people with diabetes visit their doctor at least twice per year to get a regular screening for their blood glucose to make sure that it is within an acceptable range and to make sure that their A1C is controlled in an acceptable range as well. Now, even if you're able to keep your fasting blood glucose and A1C controlled in the long term, you can prevent immediate complications from setting in, but that unto itself may not be enough. In fact, according to the American Diabetes Association, people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes still face an elevated risk of heart disease, including high blood pressure and high cholesterol, a heart attack, and a stroke due to vascular damage to both large and small blood vessels, even if they haven't had the symptoms of high blood glucose for years. The damage to your blood vessels can also cause nerve damage. That's called peripheral neuropathy. And in extreme cases, that can result in limb amputation. That's why it's very important to have immediate, well-thought-out diabetes management or reversal plans in front of you right here, right now. And that's exactly what we do here at Mastering Diabetes. We put you in the driver's seat of your diabetes health so that your risk for all-cause mortality or premature death from any cause is reduced and it stays low permanently. Now, if you can take action to control your high blood glucose as soon as possible, you can avoid most, if not all, of the long-term complications. And in the case of pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and gestational diabetes, you can actually reverse diabetes 100%. And then I know you want to know exactly how to do this using the power of your food as medicine and who doesn't. So if you want that, subscribe to the channel right now. And remember, you can change your mind at any time. Okay, let's keep rolling. In order to understand the risks of diabetes and how to manage or reverse them, we have to explain the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes first. Now, type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition where your immune system attacks and destroys insulin-producing beta cells in your endogenous pancreas. As a result, your pancreas significantly reduces its insulin output, which in turn creates a life-threatening situation of insulin insufficiency. Now, this is because insulin is a peptide hormone in your blood that's responsible for signaling to tissues like your liver and your muscle that there's plenty of glucose in your blood. Without insulin, cells in your muscle and liver simply aren't able to import large quantities of glucose 
from your blood, which in turn traps glucose in your blood and that causes high blood glucose. Now, people with type 1 diabetes have to take insulin from external sources like an insulin pump or an insulin pen or an insulin syringe to compensate for the fact that their body doesn't produce sufficient insulin on its own. On the other hand, type 2 diabetes is caused by a condition called insulin resistance, which is caused by the accumulation of dietary fat. Yes, I said it right, dietary fat in cells that are not meant to store large quantities of fat. In the case of type 2 diabetes, your pancreas often produces excess insulin, not insufficient excellent, but excess insulin. And cells in your liver and muscle have a difficult time communicating with insulin. This in turn reduces insulin action inside of your liver and muscle, which then causes your blood glucose to rise in your blood. And this requires your pancreas to produce more insulin to try and lower your blood glucose values once again. In certain cases, people with type 2 diabetes inject insulin from external sources because the amount of insulin that their pancreas is producing, even though it's in excess, is still not enough to overpower the ability of insulin receptors inside of their liver and muscle to wake up and recognize that insulin is present in your blood. There's also other forms of diabetes, but for now, we're just going to focus on those two. Now, different types of diabetes are more interrelated than you might think. Even though type 1 diabetes is autoimmune and type 2 diabetes is not autoimmune, Despite the fact that both type 1 and type 2 diabetes have completely different causes, their complications and the worst case scenarios are actually the same over the course of time. Type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes have many of these same complications, and they're classified under the umbrella of diabetes because the damage is caused by the same thing, which is elevated blood glucose for a long period of time. It's elevated glucose that causes conditions like polydipsia, polyphagia, and polyuria. And you can learn about those three Ps of diabetes by clicking on the video above. And those three conditions can lead to more serious complications down the road. It's also elevated blood sugar or elevated blood glucose that can increase your risk for high blood pressure and high cholesterol down the road. And both of those cause vascular damage that can increase your risk for a future cardiac event. Now, another reason that type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes are more interrelated than you might think is that they can converge on very similar conditions in the long term. For people with type 1 diabetes, constant struggles with high and low blood glucose can wreak havoc on tissues inside of your body at all times. Your liver can get annoyed. Your nervous tissue can get annoyed. Your brain can get annoyed. Your thyroid gland can get annoyed. Your kidney can get annoyed. Your muscles can get annoyed. And over the course of time, if you're eating a low carbohydrate diet, you can end up developing insulin resistance, despite the fact that you are living with an autoimmune version of type 1 diabetes. The American Diabetes Association refers to that condition as either hybrid diabetes or double diabetes, which is the presence of an autoimmune condition with the presence of insulin resistance simultaneously. A similar threat is possible for people with type 2. After a prolonged period in which your pancreas overproduces insulin, the insulin producing beta cells in your pancreas may eventually commit programmed cell death, otherwise known as apoptosis. And that can result in a form of diabetes referred to as insulin dependent type 2 diabetes, in which an individual with type 2 now has to inject insulin from the outside world in order to regulate their blood glucose properly. In both cases, you're going to require exogenous insulin to regulate your blood glucose. Even if you reverse insulin resistance completely using your food as medicine, using a low fat diet, like we always recommend. And that's what we teach in the Mastering Diabetes Method. Even if you do that, your risk of life-threatening complications can rise significantly if you don't know how much insulin to use and how to use it properly. That's why it's very important to have a diabetes management plan or a diabetes reversal plan, depending on the specific type of diabetes that you're living with. Now, leave us a comment letting us know how your diabetes management plan has gone so far. There's a lot of people who have been living with diabetes for a long period of time, and a lot of people don't have very much success because they find that they're yo-yo dieting, going from one diet to the next, to the next, to the next, not having a rock solid plan and not really understanding exactly what it is that they can do for their immediate blood glucose control and to prevent complications in the long term. Now, whether you're living with type one or type two diabetes, you shouldn't be afraid of high blood glucose if you have a proper plan in place. And this is extremely important. Okay. It's true that managing your blood glucose on a daily basis can be a pain in the butt. There's no question about that. And it's true that if you look on the internet, there's a multitude of opinions about what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat in order to control your blood glucose. 
People also tell you about whether you should exercise. If so, how much, how long, when people also tell you whether or not it's smart to fast. And if so, using what regimen and for what period of time, and not to mention, it's also very hard to understand exactly what to do when complications begin to set in. It all seems extremely complicated. In my opinion, it's actually too complicated, but fortunately the solution is actually way simpler than you might think. Okay. That's why we put together what's called the six week blood sugar transformation challenge. Okay. It's an adaptable proven diabetes management plan that can help you reduce your insulin requirements, gain better control of your blood sugar level, and even reverse diabetes. And we give you a guarantee that if you participate in the six week blood sugar transformation challenge, you will see lower blood glucose and you will begin the process of weight loss and you will keep that weight loss off permanently if you manage, if you continue with the method over the course of time. There's four pillars to the mastering diabetes method, a low fat plant-based whole food diet, daily movement, intermittent fasting, and daily documentation of your blood glucose levels using our proprietary tool known as the decision tree. With these four steps, we've seen people lose weight, reduce their insulin requirements and medication requirements, and get management over their blood glucose and type one diabetes, and completely reverse insulin resistance, pre-diabetes and type two diabetes completely. And many people living with gestational diabetes can kiss that goodbye as well. If you are interested in joining the six week blood sugar transformation challenge, I highly recommend doing so. All you have to do is book a free discovery call with a member of the Mastering Diabetes team. Simply visit masteringdiabetes.org slash start, and you'll be directed to a page where you can book a time that works in your schedule to speak with a member of the Mastering Diabetes team. And if you want to get started right now, you can check out our video on how to lower your blood sugar immediately. Remember, the power is always within your hands. And if you act on the right information, you can make significant changes to your health in a very short period of time. The trick is, can you keep those changes happening over the long term? I think you can, and I think you will. I'll see you in the next video.